It was Dr. James Marion Sims who invented gynecology in the 1800s. He also invented this idea that black women do not feel pain. That can we please drop the strong black woman narrative? It's Why? done. You don't have to be strong any longer, ladies. Be soft, be flowers, be dolls, be vulnerable, be, ta be taken care of. That strong black woman thing, it's a trick that they sell you so that they load you with BS. Mm. And look, check this out. Black women are tired. They're tired of being independent. They're tired of being looked at as the strongest. They're tired of having to take care of the kids by themselves. They're tired of bearing all the weight. Don't believe the hype that you see on all of these social I'm glad to have you amazing viewer. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate your love and support for my content. If you're passing by for the first time, remember subscribing to the channel. And if you're coming back to watch my video, you are the real one. I appreciate your love and support. And thank you for all the feedbacks that you guys are sending we'll to me. We'll be looking at the narrative of strong black women that is now being labeled as strong black women syndrome. And some people have made a commitment to just drop it this year. So because they have to endure a lot of pain because of the narrative that they're strong, they have to hide their feeling. They have to go about doing everything and even doing others business because of that narrative they are strong and yeah we'll also be looking at where this uh, idea was burst from listen to the few stitches that I've put together if you are sensitive that is okay honey boo boo there is one thing that I'm gonna do all the time and that's cry I'm a cry I'm a feel it I'm a feel the deep emotions and I'm gonna make room for them to have space because at the end of the day Feeling your emotions and even making space to express them with the right people, that's strength. That's not a weakness. There is nothing holy about holding your emotions in until you can't feel them anymore. You become numb to yourself. There's nothing holy about that. There's nothing strong about that. I think the strong people are the ones that aren't afraid to feel. And, and at the end of the day, we need to stop judging ourselves for having the specific reactions that we have to the negative things, positive things, whatever it is that come about our lives, especially when we cry. So I give you permission, if you can't give it to yourself, to let it out, to shed those tears, and to not care if anybody thinks that you're overly sensitive or not. Because at the end of the day, when you make space for you to feel, that makes all of us stronger. I really believe that. And so when it comes to your feelings, feel what you gotta feel, okay? Okay. It's okay to be sensitive, baby. Take a long look at this painting that's being hung up in the state capital of Alabama. This young man's name is James Marion Sims. He perfected his surgical techniques by operating on enslaved black women without anesthesia because he believed black women didn't feel pain. He described his experimental surgeries on his subjects as being so painful that none but a woman could bear them. But what he really meant was a black woman. After perfecting his techniques on enslaved black women without anesthesia, Sims then went on to Europe to offer these procedures to, well, wealthy white women who were, by the way, sedated. The father of gynecology, as many know him as, wouldn't be nothing if it weren't for our people. For more information on what black people actually went through in the medical field, check out this book. Medical Apartheid, The Dark History of Medical Experimentation on Black Americans from Colonial Times to the Present by Harriet A. Washington. It's a great read. Oh, this whole strong woman here is old and it's tired and it's played out. And women really think that it's a flex. And I just want to tell you, it's not a Um, it's not a flex. To see women in these comments saying things like, my baby daily only give me $200 or $75 or I only get this for child support and I make it. These women need to get jobs. These women are um, basically getting too much money for like child support or spousal support or any of those things. And I get less or women survive off less or I do it all. I take care of my kid by myself. I will take care of my house by myself. And you dealing and living with these people, with another person? And it could be men or women, but you telling me you think it's a flex to be living or dealing with another man or woman and you do it all by yourself and you think that make you look good, huh? You think you look good? I'm here to tell you if you don't. That is not a flex. Please, 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 ladies, stop putting that in the comment on these blogs. 
it's backfiring. People are not looking at that like, ooh, that's a strong woman. No, they like, this bitch is crazy. To be cooking, cleaning, putting out, doing extracurriculars, everything, doing all the childcare and working, paying bills and, and feeling like I'm just a strong woman. That's why. No, you're a fool. You're a damn fool. The beauty is being able to please work, get educated, do things, buy your house, do all these things. Um, but if you are living or dealing with another person, sis, it is not a flex. They're getting over on you. Please stop. Please stop telling your other people. Please stop putting it on comments. It's not cute. I promise you, it's not cute. Look, check this out. Black women are tired. They're tired of being independent. They're tired of being looked at as the strongest. They're tired of having to take care of the kids by themselves. They're tired of bearing all the weight. Don't believe the hype that you see on all of these social media networks. Black women are tired. And the reason why I know this is because I talk and have conversations with a lot of black women. And what a black woman really want, she want to be able to go to the soccer games. She want to not have to be the sole leader and sole provider of her family. She want to support the man who God gave her to be with. She want to be a help me. The thing is, she's been placed in this position where she's had to lead. She's had to step up to the plate and become something that she really didn't want to be in the first place. She want to support her man. She want to nurture her kids. She want to nurture her husband while pursuing things that she's passionate about. That's it. It's that simple. The thing is, she just can't find a suitable leader that she trusts to come in and relieve her of these responsibilities so that she can finally get some rest because that's what she wants rest it's time but um so i grew up in the 90s in brooklyn and my grandma was a huge still is a huge influence in my life and i remember leaving the house being like four years old before leaving the house she would make me say strong black woman black black woman strong black woman black black woman and it's like okay I was four years old, so I'm like, strong black woman, black black woman, but like, I wasn't a black woman, I was a black girl. And can we, can we let black girls be black girls? I know that obviously it was like well-meaning, and I think there was a lot more black pride in the 90s for black Americans. Um, this is obviously talking only about black Americans, but when I think about the TV shows I used to watch and like seeing Laura Winslow and all the other black girls who were fly and cool, that was like my reality as a little kid. Like I was doing a lot of physical labor as well as just like following up on the internet, like just so much work. And I realized that I had this bad habit from the time I started working when I was 14 of always going above and beyond. I've always just been like, I can do it, I can do it, it's fine. When it's like, okay, I can do it. I know I can do it. I've proven to myself and to others I can do it. But in me doing it, others get to just sit back and chill. And I'm the one with a sore back, sore legs, you know, tired and frustrated at the end of the day because I've done too much, you know? Um, and people just expect black women to rise to the occasion because we've done it so many times, but it's like, at some point, why don't they rise to the occasion? So 2024, not only am I giving less of a fuck and just trying to be more of myself, but I'm also just gonna delegate, learn how to delegate, learn how to accept help, learn how to, uh, Critique when needed, but accept help and accept that everyone's help is not going to look like the way that I would do it, but that's okay. People can help. And call, you You got a man, he can help move this? Okay, bring him over here. Because I can't. Like, I can, but I don't want to. And being a black woman, it is so hard to see where we stand. It's so hard to see our purpose. It's so hard because we always, no matter in our jobs, in our relationships, we are always second place or it feels that way from the lady that passed away so sad because she was being bullied in her position and she tried to reach out and she tried to get help and she tried to speak to other people and they really just gaslighted her and unfortunately she made a decision that ultimately was a permanent decision and now people have to live with the loss of her and she was such a bright person and she was so out here and smiling and uplifting and motivating but why does it seem like the only time black women get notoriety or when they get 
um, people to see us is when we're either that angry black woman that Tyler Perry wants to put on all of these movies, or we're the angry black woman or the baby mama on section eight, ain't doing nothing, not talking about everybody, just some. And, or we're, we gotta be the black woman that, we can't be a black woman in the corporate world. We can't be a black woman that's actually trying to go up the chain. We can't be a black, and, and it's like, it's just black women. It's just black women. Like, it doesn't happen to everybody. It really just happens to us. And we have this thing in society where we have made this facade that we have to be strong and everything because we don't have anybody to lean on. We don't have anybody to fall on. We, where, where is the black woman? Where, who's gonna uplift us and hold us up if we uplift in everybody else? If we're always giving our nurture, our love, our faith, our belief, our energy, everything to the world, to the black man, to, to work, to our kids, to keeping the homes right. If we do all of this, who is there to hold us up when we fall, when we're feeling depressed, or when we have anxiety? Black women do not want to be strong anymore. We don't want to be strong no more. Take it away. Take the title away. Who gave us this title? We don't want it no more. We don't want to be strong anymore. We don't even want to be soft. We just want to be us. We only gonna be soft with our husbands, cause you know. <laughs> but we want to not be just considered strong. We we feel pain like y'all do. We feel hurt. We feel the anger, and we're more than just angry. Cause at the root of a lot of anger is just love, and it's misplaced love. Cause we don't even know what to do with it. There's so much stuff we're feeling. Nobody's helping us understand it. So we don't even know what to do. But just seeing, hearing that young black man say that, we don't wanna be strong anymore. And to any black woman that's watching that, I want you here. The Lord wants you here. There are people that want you here. If you have to leave that job, leave that job. If you have to leave that man, leave that man. But I'd rather you leave to, to think to go home to glory and think that nobody loved you, that nobody could help you, and that nobody hears you. Because there are black women, other black women that do hear you. And the hate between the black women and black women, that has to go. We gotta do something. Because there's too many black women that are losing their lives to senseless violence and to hurting themselves because we're not being heard. I don't know who needs to hear this, but that whole strong black woman narrative, it, it, it doesn't apply to me. I live a soft life. I am a dainty princess. I will fall. I'm sure you got something beneficial from this video. Don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to turn on the bell as you subscribe to the channel so that you get notified whenever I have a new video. Don't forget to leave your thought in the comment section. I appreciate that you're leaving me your thought. Let's interact in the comment section. I appreciate it.